Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today I want to talk very briefly about something that uh, uh, has come up just two articles in the last week, both illustrated the end of X. Uh, so, of course, the X11 Display Manager, there's been this fight over it, people saying, oh, it's just too old, it's too legacy, it's a patchwork. All that might very well be true. It is indeed true that the X has become a patchwork. There's a lot of things going on with it where a lot of people are uh, are complaining. I don't know really what the big complaint is because it works. Now, because it's a patchwork, that doesn't mean that there's a greater risk of problems showing up in it. But at the same time, we also have to recognize that Wayland, the alternative, is not completely ready for prime time. There are a lot of elements that don't work with it, and there are a lot of issues surrounding it. Now, what's happening right now is two different systems have both illustrated the end of X. One of those is going to affect almost none of you. That is the new Raspberry Pi. With the release of the new Pi 5, the uh, the new version of the Raspberry Pi OS has just released. And, of course, this is based on Debian 12 Bookworm, About Time. Um, I say About Time. It's only been out for, you know, what, a couple of months. Um, and uh, in this, the first thing they're doing is Wayland only. So there is no X session on your Raspberry Pi. It is going Wayland only. Uh, other items that they have, you know, just uh, not specifically relevant to our discussion on X, you can read the article down below. The big one that will impact a lot of people and the one that's kind of like, what in the world are you doing is GNOME. GNOME is planning a complete drop of X altogether. And... Basically, most of the distros you install, even if it defaults to Wayland, on that GNOME login screen, you can always go down, click that gear button, and select the X session. Now, Ubuntu a few years ago has defaulted to Wayland. Uh, Fedora happened a little bit before that. Uh, I can't remember where Debian sits right now, if that defaults X or defaults Wayland. But more and more things are defaulting Wayland. One of the challenges we have with that is that as more and more things are defaulting Wayland, we're seeing a few applications that just don't work as well under it. Uh, the GIMP team have said, hey, graphics do not work mostly because there is no way to manage color profiles inside of Wayland at this time. But the GNOME team has a merge request to drop all of the X11 sessions so that X would effectively stop working. All right. Now, uh, from the article, what's happening? Well, uh, there is a, a request from um, uh, Jordan Paradis, the first step towards removing X session from GNOME. The first step is going to effectively remove the connections that it makes. Now, in theory, you can uh, a, a distribution manager can add that session back in, can fork this, can make it work. So a distribution that wants to keep X session going with GNOME has the option to do that, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult to manage. All right, so uh, their logic is X has been receiving less and less testing, and it has been defaulting to the Wayland session since uh, GNOME has been defaulting to the Wayland session since 2016. Uh, so they say it's about time to drop the session completely. But there are some concerns. Um, the maintainer of GIMP mentioned that even though Wayland may be ready for different types of use cases, it's not there for graphics professionals. I still have issues with Wayland when we're talking about screen recording and things like that. I think OBS now works. Simple Screen Recorder doesn't. And I've tried some of the alternatives to Simple Screen Recorder. They just don't work very well. And that really is a problem. So... 
Um, the, uh, the Jahan at GIMP says it's a lack of color management. Joshua Strobel, who creator of the Budgie desktop, has some critical views. He says, quote, what do you expect the fallout of this removal for desktop environments, which currently support X11 and Leverage GNOME Session? Both Budgie Desktop and Pantheon Desktop, both of which are working on moving to Wayland, currently only fully support X. So two whole desktops can be taken out in this. Uh, these desktop environments leverage GNOME Session for their session launching currently. If the removal of this support prevents the launching of those desktop environments, it seems premature, premature for the support to end. Now, uh, this is maybe uh, System76 right now looks brilliant. Uh, moving away from GNOME altogether, creating Cosmics as a standalone. I haven't followed the development of that lately. Maybe it's about time I do. Uh, but uh, you can let me uh, or let everyone else rather know in the comments. I'll look into it eventually. Uh, but they're moving away from GNOME. Uh, similar to the, the consensus among... Uh, many is that plenty of existing apps and operating systems will face issues if X is completely removed. And there are a lot of applications that still don't work well under Wayland, as I had mentioned. One of the suggestions to avoid breakage was to fork the GNOME session for running X. So this is something that could be done. Another is to have some form of alter uh, alternate version with the X session code in it. So you can do that. And... Uh, Gnome says the change is going to happen. So effectively, Gnome is going to kill X session sometime soon. And when do they say this? Um, they say this is likely going to be Gnome 48, which is around March 2025. However, March 2025 is only about, uh, is it 15 months away from now? That is very close. But here, I think, is the biggest arrogance that we have to look into. When to expect? Well, according to GNOME developer Michael, uh, is it Catanzaro? The initial merge request for removing X is meant to act as a jump scare. In other words, GNOME says, we think everybody should be doing it like we do it, and we want to remove all of your other ability to do it. This is the peak of arrogance, and this is really where the GNOME direction is trying to take this, something away from the Linux community who still might need or want to continue with X session. This is certainly a thing. But for GNOME devs to say, hey, this is just a jump scare to get everybody faster moving on to, on to Wayland, I'm sorry. That is arrogance to its extreme. Uh, because what's the what's this what's the purpose you know look at the case of linux mint they it is on their map now to start looking at wayland but the reason linux mint hasn't is because wayland does not work super well in every instance right now and the challenge that we have with that is that if a user installs Linux Mint and it uses Wayland and they have a bad experience with applications, this means that they're going to have a bad experience on Linux. And that in and of itself is a fundamental problem. And so what we what they're doing now is they're trying to figure it out. Wayland is getting better. It is about ready. It's just not there yet. And that really is one of those things that we have to keep in mind. So to force this out and to force everybody to jump onto Wayland when they're not ready, this is a negative for the Linux community and not a positive. That's my thoughts on it. I don't know what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments down below. But as it is right now, roughly 15 months, GNOME is going to start experimenting with no X session even possible. So are you ready for that change? Have you audited and vetted your applications to see how well they work under Wayland? That is a, uh, a good question for you. With that, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and we will see you all next time. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy... Switching to Linux.